Palm Breweries Steenbrugger. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Boats Reviews. I've got one in a day from Belgium and it is the Steenbrugger Brune, which is, even though it says brown on it, it is called a double, a brown double. So read into that what you will. There's two different styles combined there. They're calling this a Belgian Abbey beer. It's not of Abbey beer. That has never seen the inside of an Abbey. There is no protected status on it and it's basically another marketing ploy on the part of the brewery to pretend it's somehow ecclesiastical and it's not now there goes the mouse i have just tried this stuff capital it was fucking horrible something went wrong with the yeast in that and it tasted like satan's piss i'll give it a one out of ten so i've decided to consign myself with one of these and this is a steen brugger Brune, and I've heard of these because of this glass and because when I was in Bruges last I was in a beer shop and there was a bottle of this sitting behind me and I only noticed it when I came home and I was gutted because I should have got one. This is me here. What a happy chappy, eh? Anyway, enough about that. This beer is brewed by Palm Breweries. Now, Palm, you may have heard before, I've reviewed some of their lager before, and to be honest, it was dirt cheap, and it it reflected that in the taste, to be honest, it wasn't that great. But they're like a conglomerate, they own a few breweries. And they own, it surprised me, when I was doing the research for this one, it surprised me, they actually own the Rodenbach brewery who do some fantastic stuff they did that grand cru which is amazing i've reviewed that on there that got a 10 out of 10 lovely red f f uh, flemish sour beer i love my sour beers and that i think is one of the top sour beers that i've tried and the the brewery also own steenbrugger which is their name and they own a couple of others as well but they in turn are owned by a dutch company called bavaria why the fuck is a Dutch company called themselves Bavaria? I know why. It's more fucking marketing because you think you're getting a beer from Bavaria and you're not. You're getting a beer from Holland. Now, no offence to the, any Dutch subscribers. I know there's a couple, but I'm not falling for that one. That Bavaria beer, I don't think is a good one because they sell it in the supermarkets in green bowls and that just puts me right off it. So I'm not going to review it in the near future. Unless, unless you beg. It's, it's not really a beer that appeals to me, so I'm not going to review it. Anyway, enough about that. This beer is actually a Gruit beer. What is Gruit? Gruit is a beer that is brewed with stuff that isn't hops. It's basically the way beer was brewed before the introduction of hops. They would use all manner of herbs. And even in Scotland, they brewed with heather. The Williams Brothers did one called Frock. Oh, it's fucking disgusting. And... I've reviewed it on the channel. If you want to have a look, have a look. You, you're not missing much. It's, it's not good stuff. But that effectively was a gruit because they didn't use hops, they used heather. I'm not sure what they're using here. They just say they're using herbs and spices. I don't know what they are, what these herbs and spices are. So, there you go. But this beer, even though Palm Breweries are based in a place called Steenhuffel, this is actually brewed in Bruges. And a lot of good things have come out of Bruges. So let's see if this is a good one. Right, before I get it open, 330ml uh, bottle, it is 6.5% ABV. Uh, Steenbrugger is a top fermented brown Abbey beer with a warm, full, 
flavour and hints of licorice and cinnamon. Its malty caramel aroma combines perfectly with typical blend of herbs and spices which gives the beer its unique delicious flavour. Mm. Steenbrugger has a modest and truly accessible nature. Remaining true in the spirit of the Abbey. What Abbey? There is no fucking Abbey. This beer was first brewed at Steenbrugger Abbey, also known as St. Peter's Abbey in Bruges. Ideal to unwind together after a busy day. I'll tell you something, this, this is not brewed there now. So, fuck you, pal. Anyway, let's get it open. And let's see what's going on. Occasionally, you do get licorice taste in in Belgian doubles, and it is a nice, nice surprise when you do. Because I do like licorice in beers. Here's the cap just said Steenbrugger. Put that in the collection. Steenbrugger, of course, it translates to I think could be wrong, but I think it either translates to Stone Bridge or Stone Bruges. Work that one out. Bruges means bridge in Flemish. So I'm going with Stone Bridge which would make sense. Now, don't get it confused with the Stonebridge Estate in Wembley. It has got nothing to do with that. That place is a fucking hellhole. One of the worst estates in North London after the Broadwater Farm Estate a few years ago, that place was. Don't know what it's like now. Haven't been there. Don't plan on going. There it is in the glass. Nice. Oh, nice ruby color. Red ruby. Nice, one finger head. What are we getting on the nose? Mmm, malty. Very malty. And herby as well. Like herbal notes coming from there. Sweetness to it as well. It's like a, almost like a toffee malt. It's it's smelling smelling quite nice. Wow, the toffee malt is just getting stronger and stronger. It does smell good. Quite sweet too. Let's get it down the hatch. Good elf. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah. That's really nice. Now, they've called it a brown and they called it a double. It does put me in mind of an English brown ale. There is licorice in there, but there is big, big nutty and toffee malt in that, which is unusual. In a double, I'd be expecting caramel malt and some sweetness. This is different. This has got big toffee malt on it, very nice toffee malt with a long, toffee malt finish on it but there is as they say hints of licorice in there this is just the first mouthful by the way this is what i'm getting the herbal notes not so much on the first mouthful it's just that big toffee and i'll tell you something after that capital stuff this is a welcome addition It actually tastes very English. It reminds me of a of an English strong ale or an old ale more than a, a Belgian double with that big toffee malt on it. And of course I love English strong ales, especially old in the old ale style. And this is what this has reminded me of. And it's really nice. Big toffee malt. Then there is a slight caramel note to that, but it, I'm getting more toffee. I can get the licorice too. And there's some fruit on there, like raisin and dark cherry. Not much spiciness on there at all. Not getting that white pepper 
or clove or anything like that. As I say, this is, you know, in a blindfold test, I'd say this was a, a British strong ale rather than a Belgian Abbey Brown. But it's nice. I don't care what it is. And I've been dying to try this Steenbrugger stuff because I had the glass for ages and I kept thinking I must try that out. And they had it on Piers of Europe, so I thought, right. And I'm glad I did, because that is really good. Oh, that's really nice. That is right up my street. Now, if you're not a fan of Belgian beers or Belgian doubles, but you like your British strong ales, I think you will love this. But to be honest, if you like strong ales, I'd imagine you like doubles anyway. But I urge you to try this if you like old ale, because this is very reminiscent of that rather than a Belgian double with the big candy sugar sweetness on it and the stickiness and the spirit alcohol you're not getting any of that on there it's just big toffee malt touch of caramel licorice not much spice not getting that at all and not much herbs either but there's big fruit on that as well really nice i really like this lovely really good So what's the verdict on Steenbrugger Brown? Well, to be honest, when I saw that this was brewed by the Palm Brewery, I really didn't have high hopes for it at all because Palm Brewery own a lot of breweries and they remind me as a sort of, you know, the Belgian Marstons, if you like. And to be honest, the only reason I really tried it was because of the glass and I'm so glad I did because this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't care who they are, what other brands they own. I mean, they own the Rodenbach Brewery, who are, again, a fantastic brewery. They're from a place called Roselaire, and they brew the Grand Cru, which is one of my favourite uh, Flemish red ales, if not my favourite of all time. And they, uh, they, they own this lot as well, or they brew the stuff under this name, and it's fantastic. This is the first one I've tried from Steenbrugger, which is, of course, Palm Breweries. And it's really good. Now, I'm saying it's from Palm Breweries, but on the Palm Breweries website, they put this under the, the Gooden Boom. I don't know whether that's another brewery that originally brewed this, but either way, I don't care. This is fantastic. As Belgian brown ales go, this is probably my favourite. It's taken over from the Castile. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I never thought I would give this a 10 out of 10. I always thought this was going to be a bit moody, but it's not. It's really good. If you're a fan of old ale or British strong ale, you will fucking love that. It's got more in common with British ale than it has Belgian. And it's lovely. And that is a 10 out of 10. Forget Leffer's Brown. Forget Castile Brown. Well, don't forget that. That's quite a good brown. But this is the best I have tried so far. 10 out of 10. And remember, beer is working class champagne.